Harris from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Mary from Goliath Games, and we are taking a quick look at Harry Potter Reveal the Death Eaters. Mary, what is this game all about? All right, Harry Potter Reveal the Death Eaters is a social deduction game. So you're probably familiar with like Werewolf, very right. similar to that, except okay. everyone in this game is a muggle. They're dressed as a muggle, they're undercover. <laughs> And you've got Dumbledore's army versus the Death Eaters. Um, <laughs> gorgeous box art, really high quality character cards as well. Yeah. One person playing the game will uh, be the narrator as Cornelius Fudge. And depending on how you feel about Cornelius Fudge, I'm either very happy for you or I'm sorry for you. Um, <laughs> let's not get into that. Let's get into the game itself. Um, as I mentioned, you've got the you've got Dumbledore's army versus the Death Eaters. Lots of characters who you'll recognize, and some of the characters have special traits. For example, um, and I can't quite see your screen. I'm sorry, um, but for example, Dumbledore's army. We've got both Fred and George Weasley, and if Fred is taken out of the game, George has to go too because their souls are linked, which can make you a little <laughs> bit. A little bit weepy. Um, Harry chooses one character every night to um, cloak with the invisibility cloak. Um, Hermione is, of course, able to use her time turner once in the game. Luna, I'm sorry, I'm going really fast. Um, Luna <laughs> is a seer, and so she knows more of what's going on with the characters, and so on and so forth. Um, and over on the Death Eater side, we have Snape, because of course we do, but <laughs> Snape is actually a spy and is actually part of Dumbledore's army, which if you're any kind of a Harry Potter fan like I am, you're going to be like, duh, Mary, of course. Um, but you know, maybe this is your intro to Harry Potter. Maybe you're into um, social deduction games and this is how you're going to fall in love with this franchise. I'm not sure, but it's a ton of fun. Um, in uh, Reveal the Death Eaters, the cycle goes from day to night. Okay. And Dumbledore's army wants to find out who the Death Eaters are so that they can send them to Azkaban. The Death Eaters want to get rid of Dumbledore's army. Um, obviously, we want good to prevail over evil. Mm -hmm. And every day, um, Cornelius Fudge, the Minister of Magic, will have everybody wake up and kind of walk through what happened the night before. The night before mm. is when the Death Eaters chose who they were sending away. And if that person was wrapped in Harry's invisibility cloak, then that person doesn't get sent away. If Hermione hmm. had used her time turner the night before, which can only be used once in a game, um, then nothing the Death Eaters did that previous night counts. Um, and every character is secret. So you could be playing with 12 of your closest friends and <laughs> you won't know who their characters are and they won't know who you are. And you're simply trying to figure out who really is in Dumbledore's army because the game ends when either Dumbledore's army has gotten rid of all the Death Eaters and that's how they win. But the okay. Death Eaters win if the number of Death Eaters is equal to the number of Dumbledore's army. Gotcha. So it can definitely, it can definitely be a game that takes up a lot of time. Um, and characters are allowed to during the day, talk about anything they want. They can tell bald-faced lies about their character. They can tell bald-faced oh, lies about their best friend who's sitting next to them. Because while you are, if you are part of Dumbledore's army, you want your team to win. But if you're a Death Eater, you want to get rid of all those goody two-shoes and kick them on out. <laughs> um, Dumbledore's army is available for purchase. Um, We've also got it set up on Tabletop Simulator um, because this is a game that is played with from eight 
up to 29 people. And oh, wow. we fully recognize that um, if you're social distancing, this might not be the easiest thing to pull off in person. So we do have it on Tabletop Simulator. We've had some great gameplay um, this weekend at Gen Con, and we're going to look for other ways to enhance that experience so that you can enjoy revealing the Death Eaters while still maintaining social distance. That is great. And um, is Reveal the Death Eaters uh, currently available for retail? If people did yes, want to pick up the physical copy? It sure is, yes. Awesome. And you said it plays with eight up to 29 players? I'm assuming that's the amount eight of characters five. total, yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. And the reason for the minimum of eight is because there are characters that you simply have to have to make gameplay work. You have to have Cornelius Fudge. You have right. to have. <clears throat> It just okay. doesn't work. So, so, right, right. So at the beginning of the game, everybody secretly would get a character. I'm assuming you would have some distribution of good guys versus bad guys, and then everybody gets a secret identity, and then it's led by Cornelius. Cornelius, uh, I don't. Okay, yeah, I'm not a big Harry Potter person. Ooh, don't kill me. <laughs> this could be your gateway. Yeah, I do love social deduction games, though. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. Well, thanks, Mary, for showing us Harry Potter Reveal the Death Eaters from Goliath Games. Oh,